What's up, gamers? Uh, welcome to New Dawn Season 11. A season that was so good, we had to play it twice. Uh, it has exactly the same mo same game mode as 11A. We have a few different friends here to play, so let me just read off the plays real quick. Uh, new people are Quill, Steph, and Zev. Um, BJ plays Cryptic, DJ Telica, Elemental, Jilly, Glitchy Rainbow, Jake Cub, Kid Fierce, Curtit, Lord Laylabs, Mad Santa, Majora, Mr. British, Posh and Pie, Quill, J1, Sandra, Speed, Zev, Brody, Bitexel, Honestly Steph, and Jamie the Elite, and me. I said me. Um, for the benefit of those who didn't play uh, last season or just didn't watch it, here's how the game mode works. For the anniversary season, uh, we wanted to do something different, which should hopefully make for a very entertaining season or two season <laughs> from every perspective. Uh, this hedges on multiple different game modes working together, including, if you haven't already noticed, the use of positional audio mod. Um, this season we're using a positional audio mode called Mumble. The way it works is that player voices are projected to the other players in the game in a real-time 3D environment. As such, when I wander within a set distance of another player, we'll be able to hear each other talking. But we can't because I made everyone mute. You're welcome. No, you didn't. I'm... <sighs> hmm. The season is being played on a custom terrain map generated by Sid. Thanks, Sid. Uh, using the biome bundle terrain control setup. Uh, this should ideally lead to some interesting fights combined with the game mode of Move Zero Zero. This map uses different biomes to the 11A map and should provide for a bit of a different time. To further encourage exploration of the beautiful map, uh, crates of supplies will be dropped from the sky every five minutes with their coordinates broadcast and chat. There will be four types of supply crates. Supply crates. More information on these can be found on the Reddit post or in the description. But the biggest twist for this season is team size. Well, it's it's not really a twist because we did it. We did it in 11A. But players will be scattered into a world as a solo, but may form alliances with other players they find. There is a soft cap on alliances that four players, so there should be no groups larger than that. If you are, you are a bitch. However, at the beginning of episode three, each player is secretly given a teammate known only to them and is tasked to find them in the world. Players may win the game as a solo player or with a secret team of two. As such, you can expect to expect to see backstabbing, double crossing, and betrayal abound. But seeing as we're so lovely last season, the only person who did it was Jamie, and we all hate Jamie because of it, so don't be a dick. To further add to the chaos, death messages are hidden until the end of each episode, when all player deaths are broadcast on the screen and in the chat. Uh, the game modes for this season were heavily inspired by the Hunger Games, again, like 11A, and should hopefully lead to an incredibly incredibly exciting season. Golden Heads are enabled, healing three, Notch Apples are enabled, Bookshelves disabled, Nether is off, but potions are obtainable through chests and supply trade. <laughs> Get it? Because I died in a portal! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, there is to be no tier 2 strength and ender pearls do one heart of damage. A thing that was part of 11A but didn't really get mentioned is also applicable this time. You may temporarily mute your microphone to speak to your viewers. This allows you to talk strategy without the world hearing. You can't do this for a long period of time and you should only do this when you're within earshot of other players. Best of luck everyone, I hope you all enjoy. And I'm not saying that last line BJ. Um, yeah, uh, okay, unmute. It was a good way to end it. 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 It was a good way